Hello and welcome back. My name is Antique Alicia and I'm so excited that you are here. Thank you for taking this mini course. So we're going to talk about autoimmune diseases and trauma. If you watched the first segment, um, you, can, you don't have to watch them in order, but if you watch the one about weight gain, you know that we get stuck in fight, flight, or freeze oftentimes. And why this happens is because we're struck with something and the inability to cope. And what happens when we have this inability to cope, inability to claim the power in our lives, whether it's for a split second or for an entire decade or decades of our life, um, no matter what that is, we get, we get kind of stuck in, in different patterns, in different ways of coping. Well, autoimmune disease is when the body literally starts fighting back to itself. And what it's really trying to do is come back into balance. Um, the more women that I've worked with around autoimmune disease, the more I realize this is just the body literally um, turning on itself to try to get some sort of balance back into your system. And it usually goes towards your weakest system. Now, many times, um, thyroid, parathyroid comes into the mix. This is one that's really common that comes up for women. Well, this is actually an endocrine system problem. And the endocrine system is your thyroid, parathyroid, pancreas, adrenals, kidneys, and your pituitary. So treating that higher end pituitary on the top of your head is what's going to actually solve the problem. You're going to reset that and opening up your God light. So it's actually kind of funny. It's a spiritual disconnect. A thyroid problem is a spiritual disconnect. So when I work with women privately, we figure out which system and which power zone breaks down, was kind of weak, right? And or really, really powerful, really strong, one or the other, and blew out. Hey, it's like it finally blows out and then all of a sudden we're stuck with this illness. I've had women with thyroid problems get really in touch with their intuition and their, their innate knowing and their self-trust and reform that relationship with themselves and then their thyroid problem just goes away. Just goes away. It's gone. <laughs> I've had women with Crohn's or leaky gut syndrome get in touch with their creative center and their ability to create life, their ability to manifest. And a manifestation is a vibrational, it's an emotional relationship. Our emotions send out that vibe and call it back into ourselves. But it manifests physically as Crohn's or um, anything gut related. Right, so Crohn's is an autoimmune disease that's really common here, as is leaky gut syndrome. Um, it causes a lot of pain, a lot of unk, and, and it's there. So what happens when, when that happens is I say, okay, let's, what, what emotions are you scared of? What emotions aren't you wanting to face? How can we face those? And they walk through the, that power zone, the power zone of your vibration, and they retune their vibration to their heart calling, Right? to your own personal tune. It's not my tune. It's not somebody else's tune. It's your tune. You find that. I walk you through a, a, a divinely guided um, methodology that has been gifted to me by source through my lifetime. I walk you through this process and you come back into tune with you and your emotions and you feel free to feel anything and everything. And that freedom creates this awareness in your intuition and in your gut feelings, right? Your gut feeling and boom, we're healed. Hey, right? um, there's so many different things. Anxiety, anxiety you think would be a, a emotional thing, right? You're feeling anxiety, you're feeling anxious. Well, it's a kidney and adrenal thing, which is attached to your pituitary. So it's actually a spiritual thing. 
It's spiritual. It's your soul. It's your soul calling you. Listen to me. Trust me. I'm here for you. Okay. So we tap into that power zone, the zone of spirituality, the zone of your relationship with God. Uh, if, if that's how it's manifesting physically. When we walk through trauma, we literally go into survival mode. And when we're stuck in that survival mode for long periods of time, we, we create habits, we create belief systems, we create a relationship with survival. And it's about breaking that relationship with survival and reclaiming your power. So when it comes to autoimmune diseases, there's no simple trick that I can tell you, hey, here you go, here it is for you. But I can tell you this, when it comes to living the most powerful life, there's one thing that all of my thousands of clients have really, really needed over the years, and that is to develop healthy habits, daily habits that support them feeding, not just being healthy in their body, um, having positive thoughts and, and changing their belief systems from negative and things that pull them down to positive things that en enlighten them and fill them with hope and learning how to um, shift their unconscious and subconscious beliefs. Not just feeling better and handling their emotions and being high vibe and manifestation, right? Not just being connected to their soul and their intuition and their knowingness within them, that part of themselves that is and always will be. Not just having amazing relationships that they absolutely love and not only um, making money and making a difference in the world and feeling just on top of the world in their actions, but also like all of it, right? It's the whole thing. It's a holistic approach to your daily habits. And because of this, I've created a club and it's at your own university.com. I'll put a link below as well. And it is called the You Matter Club. And what I've done is I've put together 365 and then it keeps going. Um, daily habits that have changed my life, changed their lives, or changed people's lives that I've studied that may just resonate completely with you or may just remind you that you matter and to do your daily habits each day. And these habits focus on one habit for each power zone per six day period, right? So each week you're going to be prompted to do something really special for your body, something really special for your mindset, something really special to feel better, something really special to connect with your soul and your essence, something really special to infuse your relationships with joy something really special to step into your purpose. And you'll learn these habits and get ideas so it keeps it really fresh, keeps it really fun, and also balances out your life. So the autoimmune and fighting back against your reality can calm down naturally and go into remission. So I would like to invite you to do this for a dollar. You can try it out, feel how you feel for a week, and start getting an essence of what these are. These things are not, it's not something that you can fail. It's not a course. It is literally, a, hey dude, remember you, email that you're gonna get each morning. And it's gonna have a tip inside that have worked for people that you can try on. And then you'll adopt your daily routine, your morning routine and your evening routine from these tips. It's also gonna retrain you to love you. And oftentimes, especially if you experience trauma as a child, which most autoimmune disease candidates have and do, um, you are going to learn things that you didn't even know you didn't know, right? And that's the beauty of it. So I've developed the You Matter Club for you to support you daily in loving you. It also gives you access to master classes in your own university and a whole host of other things, a great community online. And you're welcome to do that. So start there. Join there and start these beautiful daily habits and reset how you relate to you. All right, so next we're gonna talk about sex.